Darkness type Pokemon are some of the trickiest to deal with in all of Gym Leader Challenge format. Though these Pokemon are usually pretty easy to knock out as they don't have a ton of HP except for, you know, Guzzlord. These Pokemon have a lot of options to disrupt the opponent's strategy and deal massive damage for just a little amount of energy. What I really like about the Darkness type Pokemon in Gym Leader Challenge format is that each Pokemon has different strengths for different situations in battle, like Zorark and Weavile are really good if the opponent has a lot of Pokemon in play. Both Hoopa and Spiritomb can take quick and easy knockouts as early as the first or second turn of the game, and Galarian Moltres and Guzzlord are both great late game sweepers that can completely change the tides of a match when they hit the board. If you want to learn more about Gym Leader Challenge format, make sure to check out gymleaderchallenge.com where you'll find everything you need to know to start playing with your favorite Pokemon cards. In today's match, I'm piloting my Darkness type deck against Wilmantho with his Dragon deck. I'm stoked to get to the action, but before we do, let's head over to fullgripgames.com. Fullgripgames.com is the best place to sell your extra Pokemon cards. That's right, if you've got too many Pokemon cards lying around your house or your apartment, and you want to turn those into cash or store credit, then you have to check out the Fullgrip Games buy list. We're always buying bulk and singles here at the shop, and selling your extra cards to Fullgrip Games directly supports the content that I create here on Tricky Gym. Filling out a buy list is super easy to do. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us, you send us the cards, and we send you the cash or the store credit. Thank you so much for buying and selling at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's get to the action. Good luck. I'm going first. Yep. Pretty good hand. We got uh, Level Ball Acrobike. So I'm going to level ball. See what's cooking in the old deck. I got Dratini, Dragonair, Drampa, Gaboy. Okay. I'm going to grab Dratini. Fighting. Pass. Draw. Okay. Got a real solid mulligan assisted opening hand. Trainer's Mail, Iono, Darkness Energy. Sneasel, I can get in there with the sneaky smash. So sick. Yeah, you didn't see that coming because mm. it was sneaky. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Hoopa, actually, I could actually just go knock out the Gibble. That's the best way to. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, he's not happy about that. Nope. So, real solid opening from this dark deck. Start off with Hisui and Heavy Ball. And I've got both of my double energies prized, but no basic Pokemon. That's okay. Bench Hoopa and Sneasel. Darkness Energy to Hoopa. Air Balloon to Sableye. Trainer's Mail. And I'll take Ball Guy. Pretty nuts. And play Ball Guy. Let's go. Ball Guy allowing me to search my deck for three different cards, item cards with Ball in the name and put them into my hand. Great way to set up, get my board position established. I do know that Will plays Parallel City, so i got to be a little bit careful of that, but that's okay. I definitely want to get the Sneasel. Not the Sneasel. I definitely want to get Purloin, and I want to get Spear Tomb out, like, now. Not terribly worried about Galarian Weezing in this matchup. It does turn off abilities, but uh, Dragon is a deck that can just kind of get attacking without using abilities, so I'm not going to really lean into that strategy much. With Ball Guy, I'll grab Level Ball, Nest Ball, and Timer Ball, which go to my hand. Nest Ball. With Nest Ball, I'll get Spear Tomb. Level Ball for Purloin. Build Spite with Spear Tomb, placing a damage counter on it. And then the most exciting part of my turn, Excavate. I'll keep that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Taking a peek. Legally. Love it. And I'll use Assault Gate for 90 damage, knocking out the Gibble. Sad. Not looking too bright over here. Acro Bike. Uh, 
teammates. Hopefully there are candies in here. I didn't look for it earlier. Oh boy. <laughs> um Oh there it is. Okay. There's Dragonite. Okay. And I get rare candy Dragonite. With the teammates. That's solid, yeah. Just get that set up. Might as well, right? Yep. Candy, Dragonite, Water, Fast Call. I'm thinking Lance or Guzmahala? Guzmahala is cool. You could get like Floatstone. If I hit into the Dragonite, you get like Floatstone, Double Dragon, and then your, your Stadium and get like Trampa and just smack back, you know? Mm hmm. Here's Mahalo is not in the deck, unfortunately. Ah. I'll get Lance for now. I can always go back in next turn to get Gosh. something else. That full art Lance. Pretty sick. So clean. Yeah. Love that. Hopefully Andrew can't do 120 or 160 this turn. I think that's a big ask yeah. for me. Uh, my deck does a lot of damage if you have a big bench. And that's one of the things that I'm worried about with this matchup is that Weavile and Stand-In Zorak are not very good against your deck. Go ahead. Draw. See, I knew he was coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, evolve Purloin into Lipard. Play Timer Ball, and we got one heads. All I need. Pretty good. With Timer Ball, I'll get Weavile and evolve my Sneasel into Weavile. Mm-hmm. And then I do need to find a way to switch this Hoopa out, or else the thing about making quick aggressive plays with uh, with Hoopa is that it's really hard to find your switch to get it back to the bench. So usually he ends up hanging out there for a turn. Yeah. Excavate. I don't need that card. Mm -hmm. And trade, discarding Evolution Incense to draw two. Iono. Okay, I get five and you get six. Yep. Build some Spite over here and play Dark City, which gives my Hoopa free retreats. I'll retreat into Sableye and pass it to you. Draw for turn. Pretty sure it's the only stadium you play, so... I'm going to Super Rod, and thanks to the Errata, I can only get the Gibble. And that is what I will do. Yep. And then I'll play Stormy Mountains to guess what? Get the Gibble back. And then I use Fast Call to go get any supporter I want. And it's probably going to be Lance. Yeah, I like, I think Lance is fine. I'll get Lance, play it. Get Grandpa, draw it again, and Garchomp. Drago. Fire. And... Pass turn. Draw. Okay. Excavates. I'll keep. Oh. That's not how it works. It's not trade off. I'll keep it there. Mm -hmm. And Colrus's experiment. Oh. Colrus's experiment's a really hard card to play in Gym Leader Challenge, but I really like it. It just helps you kind of dig into the deck more. Mm -hmm. I think I'll ditch N in Fighting Fury Belt. I was originally trying to keep the Fighting Fury Belt because I wanted to uh, maybe attach it to Guzzlord, but that's fine. You could just feel blower, and it's a worthless card, so whatever. Ditch those. Yep. Trade, discard Darkness to draw two. Build Spite. Retreat Sableye and Assault Gate for 90 damage. Yep. Draw. It's a pretty good card. Trampa. Gabite. Fast call. Guzma. Yep. Guzma. Magma Secret Base. Counter. Guzma. Okay. I'm a little, probably the most scared of the Weavile right now. Yeah, you got three abilities now. Yeah. And I'll Berserk for 160 since I have damage on one of my bench Pokemon. Yep, I did it for you. It feels bad. Thank you. Promote Sableye draw. 
Okay, let's go. Excavate. Discard that. Mm -hmm. Trade. Discarding Galarian Moltres to draw two. Boss's orders Gabite. Interesting. He took the Gabite. Enhanced Hammer Counter Energy. Interesting. Tekken for me, too. Build Spite. Attach Darkness to Spirit Tomb. Bench Zerua. And Assault Gates for 90 damage. Yep. Draw for turn. Uh, did I bench any Pokemon? I did. Zerua takes damage. All right. From the Team Magma Secret Base. Yep. Yes, sir. Bench Dread again. Fast call. Raihan. Play Raihan. Fighting. Go search. One more card I grab, guys. Failless Evolution Incense. Sure. Bench. And Dragon Sword for two. And uh, whatever the attack's name is for 160. Bro. Giant Fangs for 160. Hoopa gets knocked out. Will takes a prize card. Promote Sableye. Draw. Excavate. Keep that there. Trade. Evolve Zerua into Zork. Clara. And I'll get back Sneasel, Weavile, and two Darkness Energy. Bench Sneasel. And it takes 20. Attach Darkness Energy to Sneasel. Bench Guzzlord. B-String. B-String. Looks like I don't have the Guzzlord this turn, but I'm just going to get it going just in case you disrupt my hand because my hand's like super big and awesome right now. Mm -hmm. And I know I have two double energies prized yes, from the Hisuian Heavy Ball I played earlier. So <laughs> Retreat Sableye into Spear Tomb. And Anguish Cry for 130. Sad. Draw. Attach. Research. Fast call. And get Lusamine. I need to play Reset Stamp in Dragon. That'd be nuts. I think Reset Stamp is a card that I'm starting to like really think about in GLC again. It's because definitely pretty cool. Because like you want to play powerful supporter cards that like limit that like do other things like Hex, Raihan, but then like you want to be able to reset your opponent's hand is you know combo turns basically. Yeah. Uh, Crunch your punch for three. All right, Will goes to three, tying it up. Promote Sableye, draw. Town map. There you go. Come on, they're still there. They're, there they are. Yup. Evolve Sneasel into Weavile. Ultra Ball. Discarding Cynthia and Gloria. And I'll take Coughing. Looking for Raihan or Teammates. Mm -hmm. Teammates for Dark Patch or Raihan. Yeah, either of those. And that's one of the reasons I love Excavate so much is it basically gives you a dig three, mm -hmm. right? You're like looking for one card, gives you a dig three. Really good. Excavate. We'll discard that. Don't need that. Don't need, exactly. Don't need that professor's letter at all. Trade, discarding, coughing. Dang. You've got two abilities online right now, so I'm thinking... Oh. I've got a cooler knockout. Do it. All right, fine. Maybe I, maybe I will. Do it. Maybe I will. <laughs> He's thinking about something. Versus Seeker. Versus Seeker. Yup. For Clara. And I'll play Clara to get back Galarian Moltres, Hoopa, and a basic Darkness Energy. Bench Galarian Moltres and use Malevolent Charge to attach two Darkness Energy from my hand to Moltres. Mm -hmm. Takes 20 damage from Magma Secret Base. Attach Darkness for turn. Retreat into Galarian Moltres. Yep. And since you have taken three prizes, I'll use... Fiery Wrath for 
170 damage for the knockouts. Take double colorless. Not really a fan of that. So you have game in hand. Rainbow. Lissandra. Fast call. Okay. Wish I could fast call for a parallel. <laughs> uh, run for one six. Will ties it up again, two to two. Promote Sableye. Drop. There they are. Okay, Guzzlord down. The Guzzy's down. You've got two Pokemon in play with abilities. So Weavile's doing 100. Weavile is taking the knockout. We want to save Moltres in the back pocket if I can. Excavate. Discard that. Trade. Teammates. Rescue Stretcher. Dark Patch. Let's see, I only teammates for one card. That's fine. Yeah, you did. It's fine. I'm gonna save it in there in case you Iono. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. But then I should teammates for that's fine. I thought I had win and I was like, dang, actually I don't. Yeah, can't play two supporters and then one. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right. Double colorless energy, dark claw, float stone on Lipard. I'm gonna put it on Zorark. Because if you parallel, I'll discard Zorark. Fair. Retreat into Weavile and Evil Admonition for the out. This is probably game. Don't have. Oh! Don't think it's gonna matter. Especial charge. Counter double dragon. Use Mahala. Float parallel double dragon. Now I need Andrew to lose consciousness for five seconds or something <laughs> so he can discard the Guzzlord and the Glaring Moltres off his parallel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need Andrew to make some really bad decisions. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. All right, step one, Parallel City. Okay, and that's why I didn't put the floater here. I'll yeah. discard these two. Double Dragon, Floatstone, Treasure, Fail. Yeah, not being on attack with Garchomp kind of... That's why I took out the Garchomp instead of the Dragonite, because, like... Both of these decks have ways to, like, skip ahead. Mm -hmm. Mine is Guzzlord. Yours is Garchomp. Yeah. Right? So... If I don't get the Garchomp, then I can't win. Right. Well, because I started out ahead. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, the only way Will makes a comeback... The Garchomp's the comeback card. Mm -hmm. You know, Dragonite's just going to keep you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, which I'm fine, so long as I don't miss a beat either. Yeah. Plus three down four. And there we go. Will ties it up at one-to-one -one prizes, but all I have to do is promote Galarian Moltres and Fiery Wrath... Four, 270 damage. Good game. GG's, GG's. Didn't even take extra game actions on me. Wow. That was a good game, though. <laughs> that was a good game. That was really back and forth. I actually thought that this was going to be a pretty bad matchup for Dark, but Dragon's main attackers are all relatively squishy. Mm -hmm. You know, 120, 130. I can hit that. Yeah. It's Garchomp's the one I'm worried about. 160, I very well may not, might not be able to hit that. But yeah, you're not going to have the Gibble. On turn one was really big. That was huge. I mean, I drew pretty flawlessly that game. I'm starting to become really dark pilled. Dark is good. What's wrong with me? I used to think this deck stunk. Yeah, because you had a bad list. The save life changes the, the whole. The save life changes everything. <laughs> bro. And you get to disable sometimes. <laughs> yes, it's just like a nice little thing. If you need to buy a turn, you can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, this list is definitely the gas now. I'm into it. It's... Let's try it again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Run it back, dude. Let's see. All right. I'm going second. You're going second, huh? You sure? Yep. All right. If you say so. Good luck. Good luck. Trump. Dang it. I have Pokemon, Will. No, you don't. I had two. Now I have three. Excavate. Uh... <laughs> I'll keep it there. It's a pretty good card. Past you. 
Wow, this hand's crazy. Oh, you got it like that. Guzmahala. Do we have the do we have the pieces? No. <laughs> no Double that. dragon prized? Yep. Blend Stormy Mountains and Flowstone. Gibble. Dragon. Montagna. Montagna. I think I prized Jutini too. Or I just didn't look for him. Alright, I'll get Drago. Uh go ahead. Draw. Alright, this would be an insane play. You got the Guzma energy? Yeah, I know. Well, no, because I have to excavate into the energy so I could dark patch it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nuts. Excavate. Yep. <laughs> dark patch. <laughs> Guzma. Oh my god, dude. Assault gate. Sure. That play was so sick. That play was so insane, bro. That <laughs> Floater Stoner. Montagna. Ultra Necrozma. See here, the problem is I can't use any of the cards in my hand. Treasure, fail the treasure. Um, Dragon Sword. What does it mean? Forgives Mahala. <laughs> Go ahead. Drop. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Excavate. And I think... I'll keep that there. Cynthia and Caitlin discarding N to get back Guzma and draw three. Trainer's mail. Field blower and play it. Sad. And I'll attach to Zerua. Pass to you. I don't like that. Guzma and Hala. Yeah, with me knowing that you have Guzma Hala, it's like, okay, I know he's got an attack if he keeps this full of stone next turn, so. Yep. Parallel, pot helmet, counter. Let's go parallel. Okay. Let's go counter, pot helmet, dragon sword. Pass. Draw. This hand's kind of cool, except for the fact that I don't have any basics. <laughs> or <laughs> basics. There. Other than that, the hand's pretty cool, but yeah, that's it's really killing the vibe. Excavate. Guzma Drampa. Grandpa. Retreat. Oh. Assault gate for 90. Yep. Draw for my turn. Gladian. See, here it is. Oh, it was the last prize, too. Would have been the last prize. I'm going to get the double dragon. Yeah, I was wondering what card he's going to grab. Yeah, I prize this, so we have it well, too. All right. So I would like to attack this turn, but or at least take a knockout, but I don't think that's going to happen. These kind of weird, awkward situations are fun. Yes, they are. They are. I mean, this is like where you really get into your, like, is skilled match because uh, you know when your A plan is working, it doesn't require that much skill to navigate. You just you know exactly what your deck's doing, and but when you're in like you know Plan D, <laughs> mm. thirty damage. Drunk. Interesting. I'm letting this go on very long. I should probably just play a draw supporter. But the hand is good. <laughs> I know. It's like, the hand is good. Do I just sit here? I know. Excavate. What's coming next? I'll keep it there. Fine. Uh, I'll... Cynthia. Sweet. Fine, fine, fine. I really messed around for the longest. You did. Okay. Six off Cynthia. Not five. Evolves Rua to Zorark. 
Bench Coughing, Timer Ball, Big Flip. This is my first deck search of the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we've got Guzzlord. We got Weavile in here. Lipard, Purloin. Okay, we got some peeps. Grab Galarian Weezing with Timer Ball, which goes into my hand. Twin Energy to Zork, Stand In, and Mind Jack for Knockout. Sure thing, bro. My hand is actually like decent. So I have Raihan and Double Dragon and Energy. So I could actually set up a bunch of attackers here. I could go like Attach Fighting, Raihan to something else. I don't want to play the Double Dragon because Andrew could just Gust, knock out something. So I think I'll play the Fighting on the Drago. And I could Raihan. Yeah, I'll Raihan. Water on Drodigan. Search for any card. And I think that card is going to be some sort of recovery card. So I can get the Gibble out at least. Ooh, I can get the Buddy Buddy Rescue. You know, the free Buddy Buddy. That's kind of nice, actually. I'll get the Buddy Buddy Rescue. Buddy Buddy Rescue. Gibble. I think I'm big chilling, so I will use Giant Fangs for 160. Will takes a prize. Zork goes down. Promote coughing. Draw. Cool. Galarian wheezing. Darkness energy. Super Rod. Put Darkness, Zerua, and Zork back into the deck. Yep. And yeah, there's no real no realistic way that I'm hitting through that. Pot helmet Reggie Drago this turn, so the best thing I can do is poison it. Fair. And then it'll be soft enough for me to finish it off the following turn. That's fine. I'm a couple turns ahead right now, so excavate. Keep. Since Marnie. When, since when do you tap cards in Pokemon? S to let you know that you've used the ability already. Oh. I just saw a broken card on the top of my deck. Enhanced hammer. Oh my goodness, dude. This dude. That card is so broken. Bench purloin. Severe poison. I don't know. I get four, you get five? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Gabite? Okay, no abilities. No abilities. Which does kind of funny enough mean that the Ultra Necrozma can attack, but... That is true. Tie call. Just to shuffle the deck <laughs> and get the Synth and Caitlyn out. Don't play Malin Law, and Guzman Hall is already down, so... I can't retreat. Can't really do anything. Pass. Love to see that. Draw. Parallel still there. Excavate. Discard that. And then Verse Seeker for Cynthia and Caitlin. Play Cynthia and Caitlin to discard Weavile. Mm -hmm. And draw three. And I'm getting back Guzma. Yeah. And with that, looking like a pass for me, dog. Poison draw. It's a pretty good draw. I'm going to Guzma the Hoopa. Yeah. Get rid of that. Go into the draw it again because you definitely can't knock it out next turn. Dragon Call. No more ability lock. Get the Dratini. Pushing the Glarian Weezing out. Allows you to Dragon Call. That's nice. And to know you have Guzma, I have to do this right now. Sonic Slip, and I will Revenge for 40. Okay. We're really just, like, kicking at each other's shins this game. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's happening. It's so sick, though. This is this is sick. Draw. Excavate. Yep. Stay in there. Guzma. There. Yeah. Air Balloon to Purloin. 
Severe poison. And it gets knocked out between turns. Doesn't proc Raihan. Or a Dread again. Or Dread again. It's either the Garchomp or the Necrozma. And <laughs> what's one of the two? So I, oh, I get special charge and then Sydney and Caitlin pray to dig for it. That does not help. Special charge. Counter. And blend. Back in the deck. Cynthia and Caitlin. Raihan. Mm hmm. Draw three. A one, a two, a three. Aurora, discard, nest. Go ahead. Drop. Excavate. Discard that. He's broken. As I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's, bro, it's pretty good. He'd be getting you through the deck. <laughs> True. If Dragon had that, you'd, def you'd play it. You'd definitely play it. You'd dude. play it. in an instant. You'd play that card. Yeah. Because all you do is like top deck with Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a it's a top deck controller, which is like in darkness. That's all you want, really. Mm -hmm. And boss. Sad. Severe poison. <laughs> Acrobic. Ah, dang! I can't believe I'm getting end to three. Mm -hmm. My board stinks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is cringe. <laughs> uh, five and three. Dragon air. Dragon blade for knockout. Cool. Weezing goes down. Four to three prizes. Promote purloin. Draw. Excavate. Keep that there. Lipard. Trade. Discarding Sneasel to draw two. Sure. Guzzlord. Double colorless. Fighting Fury Belt. This guy. Retreat into Hoopa. And Assault Gate for knockouts. Yep. That's really annoying. Counter. Raihan. I only have two fighting. Um, Dragonite or Double Dragon is the question. It's Double Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good card. Yeah. Uh, super Rod. Drago. Drampa. And uh, that's it. Will goes to three, promotes Lipard. Draw. Just got two prizes left to take. If I find D string. D string. Woo wee. Then it slides out. Start with excavate. Discard town map. I do not care. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then trade. Discard Evo Soda to draw two. Teammates. And with teammates, I'll get B string. With B string, I'll get two darkness energy, attach them to my Guzzlord, retreats, and red banquets for two prizes. Yep. Yum, yum. GG's. GG's, Will. GG's. That was. A real grindy game. Even with those two games, game one and game two were really different. The one constant in those two games. It was Guzzlord. Sableye was the <laughs> constant. That Sableye was cooking. Yeah. That Sableye belongs in every Darkness GLC deck because it's broken. It's pretty good. I do like the deck. I'm yeah. not. I'm not like mad about losing to it. For it, sure. It's, it's, it's a sick deck. It's really sick. I think Dark is the dark horse of the format right now. I feel like it's a it's a deck that's extremely good that not a lot of players are talking about. I feel like it can take. Uh, it takes pretty positive matchups against a lot of the most popular decks. Anyways, thanks so much for the games, Will. It was a lot of fun. 
Thank you all so much for watching the stream. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed products. Supporting the shop.